We welcome to the program today, Hannah Valentine, an OCMC missionary in Albania. Let me tell you a little bit about her before we have her speak with us. Hannah's family entered the Orthodox Church when she was two years old, and they raised her to love the church and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. From her earliest years, she desired to follow in the footsteps of St. Innocent of Alaska and become a missionary. After obtaining an associate's degree at Kirkwood Community College in 2014, she entered a monastery as a novice for five years. In the spring of 2021, she returned to her small hometown of South Amana, Iowa for a time of discernment, which would ultimately lead her to her current position of missionary work in Albania with OCMC. Hannah has served for many years as a Sunday school teacher, camp counselor, and served in short-term missions in Mexico and virtually in Kenya. In Albania, Hannah is working with Nathan and Gabriela Hoppe to start a catechism class for the high school students in the protagonist school in Tirana. Why go to Albania? What is it about mission work there that so many people go to Albania? Albania has a really unique story. Um, it was originally um, evangelized by St. Paul, uh, the apostle, or some of his disciples. They came there at the very beginning. So the people had the gospel um, from very early on. Um, but then because of where they are geographically, um, they were under the Ottoman rule for many years. Um, and then they were also under the strictest regime of communism. Um, for about 30 years, a little bit less than 30 years in um, the 1900s. Mm -hmm. So the life of the church um, was pretty much cut off for decades. Um, the priests and bishops were killed. People were killed if your faith was found out. Um, all the churches were either repurposed or maybe a few were saved as museums, but all of them were closed down. Um, and this is for all the people, not just Christians, but all religion was outlawed. All, Muslims, all religion. Muslims, Jews, no one could worship any um, form of God. Mm -hmm. So um, the aftermath of that now, um, there's still a lot of pain and a lot of work to do from that. There, there has been a lot already done, um, thanks to um, God's grace and Archbishop Anastasios, who is the current archbishop here. He yes. came in 1991 and kind of resurrected the church um, with the help of missionaries and, and the faithful who had held on to their faith in secret. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's a miraculous story here with the people in Albania, the people in the Orthodox Church, um, but there's still a lot of hurt. There's still a lot of, um, a lot of work to be done, um, a lot more that could be built up in individual communities. Um, so when I started looking into OCMC and loving to work with young people, um, when I heard about the work that Nathan and Gabriella Hoppy were doing specifically with children, with families, um, and then this new program with the protagonist school with the high school students, um, I felt like there was a definite need there. Um, and I was excited to be a part of that to help these young people who are at a very critical age. They're about to go off into college and start making life decisions. Yes. Um, how are we going to keep them in the church or how are we going to introduce them into the church um, before they go off to college, before they go off and have a career? Um, how can we introduce them to Jesus Christ? So. Well, let's talk about specifically about what you will do while you're in Albania. You mentioned it a little bit about working with youth, but can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah. Um, so we have this program that we're starting up this year called the Protagonist Club. So it's gonna be open to 10th, 11th and 12th graders at this specific school in Tirana that the church owns. Um, but because of regulations, you can't teach religion, religion during the school day. You can offer after school programs mm -hmm. um, like catechism programs or youth group um, programs and activities. So that's what we're doing for these high school students. Um, we have a, Christmas party coming up in a few days, um, two days after Christmas. We have about 20 people signed up for that so far. Um, so they're gonna be special activities like that, seasonal activities, um, things like hiking or, or going out to a movie together. But then there are also weekly things, um, like right now we have a pop culture and faith group 
that are meeting weekly um, on Friday evenings um, where the kids can come and they can they can watch a movie and discuss it afterwards, the themes in it um, and that have to do with faith um, or they just pick a topic and they talk with one of the missionaries. Um, like a week ago, we talked about Santa Claus and his relationship to St. Nicholas. So those are going to be the kind of things we're doing with the kids, okay. um, really trying to build up their relationships with one another and and also hopefully their relationships with us and bring them into the church, help them to find like a role, um, a place in the church. that they certainly, themselves have your, certainly you have your work cut out for you. There's no doubt about that, especially 10, 11 and 12 year olds. My, uh, yeah. my congratulations yeah. to you. Briefly, uh, last question. What do you hope to accomplish, say, in the, in the short term and the long term while you're there in Albania? Um, my next short term goal is definitely learning uh, the Albanian language. Um, even just being here two weeks, the, the teens that I'm going to be working with, they can speak English pretty well. Um, but the team that of, of staff members that are under Nathan and Gabriella, um, some of them don't speak English. So really wanting to build up a relationship with these people means I'm going to need to learn their language. Um, so I'm hopefully going to be signing up for classes starting in January, um, not full time so I can still work as well, um, but enough that hopefully I can start to build up some, some proficiency in the language. Um, so that's definitely a, a short-term goal, learning more about their language, their culture, mm -hmm. um, just who the people are. And then long-term goals is really helping, helping this generation um, to find their place in the church so that they can then become leaders in their churches and they will be able to pass down their faith to the next generation of young people and to be able to organize things and lead things in their own communities um, and just have a, a healthier a healthier eucharistic life with another wonderful hannah thank you very much for being with us our prayers are with you in albania you're only there two weeks you said yes just wow. two weeks today all right well god bless you have a uh, blessed holiday season blessed nativity and our prayer is that your new year will be filled with many good things May God inspire you in your work as he's done with so many people that are at OCMC. Thank you very much. Thank you.